Hello everyone and welcome to today's Real Football video. Feeling fresh this morning? We hope so. In today's episode, we we'll bring you a fantastic clip in his heyday, Ronaldo Nazario, who we often refer to as El Phenomeno, is one of the greatest footballers who ever graced the football field. Had it not been for the injuries, we could have seen a better version of him. After hanging up his boots from the game, Ronaldo had achieved a net worth of $160 million in 2023. Why is the Brazilian having such huge net worth even though he doesn't play football anymore? Let's find out with real football in this video. First, Ronaldo's huge income comes from his lucrative sponsorship deals. Ronaldo's primary endorsement agreement is with American sportwear giant Nike, which has endured as a lifetime deal even after the Brazilian retired from professional football in his heyday. Ronaldo was the face of Nike's football advertising campaign, starring in several renowned TV commercials, including the 1998 World Cup ad set in an airport with Terry Gilliam, directed secret tournament cage ad that featured Eric Cantona. He was included alongside art legends such as Paolo Mandini, Luis Figo, and Jorge Campos in Nike's iconic Good vs. Evil advertisement. The company regularly featured him in promoting their latest football boots and even created a line of footwear inspired by him, the R&R Mercurial football boots which he wore at 1998 World Cup. Nike recreated the R9 boots in 2014 and 2018, releasing a range of R9 team Mercurial Vapor boots. Moreover, Ronaldo has also collaborated with EA Sports, appearing as a cover star on the icon edition of FIFA 18 alongside his namesake Cristiano, who graced the standard edition. He has also worked with other major brands such as Pirelli, Snickers, and Standard Bank. His huge income also comes from business. After retiring from football, Ronaldo diversified his business interests by investing in sports, entertainment, and philanthropy. In 2018, he became the majority shareholder and president of Spanish club Real Valladolid, and which became his main business interest in 2020. Ronaldo's approach to running the club was based on four principles. Competitiveness, transparency, revolution, and social responsibility. Prior to this, Ronaldo was a minority shareholder in NASL team for Lauderdale Strikers and co-owner of racing team A1 Team Brazil. One of his first business ventures after retiring was founding the sports and entertainment talent agency Nine, which managed the careers of high-profile athletes such as Neymar and UFC fighters Addison Silva, Vito Belfort, and Junior Dos Santos. I try to stay very conservative. I have made very few investments in my life, Ronaldo once said in an interview with Valo Economico. I have a team of experts in economics who live in Spain, and we get together a few times per year to plan out the many strategies for each and every one of my investment. But my economic orientation is to always remain conservative. He also quoted saying, I really don't have time to stay all day watching the stock market. I have a small piece of my money, very small, which I let my team manage with certain freedom so they can make one or two aggressive investments, but it's not much really. Ronaldo's income also comes from social media as well. As of spring 2023, Ronaldo's social media presence had amassed 44 million followers across Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where he uses the handle at Ronaldo. Of all his social media accounts, his Instagram page boasts the largest following with nearly 28 million fans. Additionally, Ronaldo is most active on this platform. His Facebook page has approximately 15 million subscribers, while his Twitter page has the smallest following of only 1 million. As is typical for many current and former football players, Ronaldo's social media fleet includes a mix of sponsored posts, tributes, and candy glimpses into his life. His Instagram post often goes from congratulations Valladolid after the win, meeting up legends in the game to picture with his family. He has also 500,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel, Ronaldo TV, where he voices his opinions about football. He also has a TikTok account with the signature handle at Ronaldo. It has 2 million followers and received over 17 million views throughout his only three videos uploaded in 2020 on this platform. Throughout his career, Ronaldo has actively participated in various charitable initiatives and organizations. 
he has served as United Nations Goodwill Ambassador and played in numerous charity football matches such as the UN's match against poverty, which raised funds for aid efforts in different countries. For example, the 2014 game he played in helped support the Philippines' recovery after Typhoon Haiyan, while the 2015 games focused on providing aid to African countries affected by the Ebola epidemic. He is also involved in philanthropic ventures in Brazil through the Funacao Phenomenos Phenomena Foundation, which he founded and serves as honorary president. The foundation invests in projects aimed at promoting positive social development and uplifting communities throughout the country. In 2015, Ronaldo established the Anar Ronaldo Academy, which has multiple locations in Brazil, China, and the United States. Additionally, he collaborates with FIFA as an ambassador for the World Cup and other charitable initiatives. It is estimated that Ronaldo has earned around $200 million to $215 million, £160 million, £200 million from contracts over his career, which include playing for the top clubs such as Barcelona, Real Madrid, Inter and AC Milan. However, after retiring in 2011 following his last contract with Brazilian club Corinthians, he still earns money through endorsement deals, some of which are valued at hundreds of millions of dollars and from his different investment. That shows us how quick Ronaldo Nazario is when doing business. Moreover, his great work in charity has shown us about his generosity as he continues to help the poor to get a better life and help kids to achieve their dreams. El Phenomeno is such an inspiration both on and off the pitch. So that is the end of our video. Do you enjoy it? If yes, like, subscribe and share so that you don't miss our quality videos. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you guys in our next videos.